Welcome to Copeland. I'm Dan. What are the most important things to think about when choosing a property for off-grid living or homesteading? The location is the big one. Proximity from your job. Or if you can work remotely, proximity from friends, family. If you like to get together with family for holidays, how expensive and how long is that flight going to be? And if you want to be close to family for grandkids or whatnot, how often do you plan on making that trip out there for family? So proximity is a big one. Location also encompasses a number of other things. So what's, what's the climate like? Is it hot, hot? Does it get really cold? How long is the growing season? Does it rain too much or not enough? That's going to affect the soil life for sure. What's the, what's the water situation like underneath the earth? Is there potential for wells? Have you walked the property with dowsing rods? Is it hitting? Is there a lot of well potential or are you getting nothing? And your neighbors, how deep are their wells? You can check that information out. Is there a stream or creek or river on the property that you can use pump up hill, use a ramp pump to pump up hill? That's a huge asset if there is. With location, <clears throat> what's the political climate like at the state level what sort of restrictions are there the county town is there an HOA does the property itself have existing covenants or restrictions most most of the time those existing covenants and restrictions are pretty decent I'm, I'm out here I have restrictions on my property but it's just you can't have a commercial livestock like a pig farm or a chicken farm. I'm okay with that. Those are actually good. That helps me because this way I don't have a pig farm right down the road. And that brings me to neighbors. Like who are your neighbors and how do they keep their house and how close are they? If they're closer than a quarter mile in any direction, you might have some issues with noise pollution. Maybe they have a wood stove. They run 24 seven and it just pumps smoke into your area that could be a real big problem maybe they are big hunters and you're just constantly shooting and you just hear gunshots all the time and it's annoying or they've got dogs that bark or roosters that crow what are what's their setup who are your closest neighbors meet them and see if they share the same values if they're going to be good neighbors helpful neighbors maybe they've got things to barter or if they're going to be you know a problem if they look kind of sketchy, if there's a lot of theft going on in the area, you can get a good sense just from talking to them for a few minutes of what you think that situation is going to be like. Neighbors can be a, a deal breaker, honestly. Taxes, I don't know if I mentioned taxes. There's a property I was looking at, I think it cost like $30,000 for all this land and this humble house, but the taxes were fifteen thousand dollars a year so over the course of 10 years you're spending one hundred fifty thousand dollars on taxes that's just insane so those are some ideas on things to take a look at oh i also forgot access so is there a nice road or has it been washed away with water you're gonna have to spend a lot of money to repair it is it a bridge that could be washed away over a hundred year flood and is your area prone to flooding or is it prone to other natural disasters I think that's an important consideration and what about coverage in terms of like cellular coverage and internet coverage oh, there's a chicken chasing something I'm trying to catch a fly or something if you need internet for work are you going to be able to get online and how fast is that if you need the video conference, are you going to be able to video conference if you're not going to support it? So those are some considerations. Most of them, almost all of them have to do with location to various degrees. But that is the most important consideration. Most other things can be changed. The soil can be changed. The, the structure of the property can be changed. You can do a lot in that respect. The house can change. The location can't change. So it really is all about location. 
I'm posting new videos on homesteading, off-grid living, and 2AC3 forward slash Copeland. Come check us out.